Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. In this short video, I'll be showing you how you can change an image on Hover in Free Elementor and without using any third party plugin. So, if you have a WordPress website with Elementor and you want to change an image on Hover just like this one, you can do it easily by watching this video. So, let's see how we can do it. The first thing is you will need at least two images in your meta library so that we can copy URLs from it, okay? Then you can edit any page with Elementor. As you can see, I am editing this page with Elementor, okay? I will create a new section here. By the way, I am working on a fiber project in which we are creating a team section. And the client demanded to have two pictures for each team member. Now, if I use two pictures at the same time, it will make no sense. So I figured it out and I found a jQuery code which will change the image on Hover. So let's see how we can do it. Let me just create a simple section here. And I will give it some padding. And we'll also change its background color to something like this. We'll make it full width. And now let's add a heading here. And we'll write your team. This is just for example. Now I'll add an inner row. And now I'll design a section here for team member. Okay. The first thing is we need an image. So I'll add an image here. And we'll use one image from my media library like this one. We'll select it and now let's add name to it so again i'll use a heading i'll write name this is just to show you okay some text also and this will be designation let's also give this column some padding about 50 let's leave this one now but we will give this some background color which will be pure white now let's see how we can change this image and hover okay so the first thing is we will need to give it a class or id so go to advanced and here you can see css id or css class i'll give this a css class and we'll call this let's say team one you can write any name here make sure you remember this because we will need this so i'll just copy this now the limiter work is finished now we can just go to our wordpress dashboard to add some jquery code so i'll update this page and we'll go back to my wordpress dashboard and there are two methods of adding custom codes. One is to use Elementor Flow. I already have Elementor Flow here, so I can just go to custom code and I can add a new code and I can write my code here. Okay, this is one method. And if you want to do it for free and you don't have Elementor Flow, you can just go to plugins, add new, and you can install WP Code plugin to add your custom CSS or jQuery codes. So here, search for WP Code. And you will see this plugin WP code, insert hidden inputters, custom code snippets, and so on. Just install and activate this plugin. You can see that I already have this plugin. Once you activate this plugin, you will see another tab here, code snippets. So just go there and click add snippet. Now you can use these templates also, but we are using our own custom code, so we will use this blank. And then we will give it a title like uh, change image on how. And we will write our code here. So you can copy code from description or you can just go to this link. And here you can scroll down and you will find the code. Okay. Just copy this. Go back to dashboard and paste it here. Now this is JavaScript code. So we will need to change this to JavaScript. And if you are getting these warnings, you can just remove these tags. Okay. These are because we already have script here. So let's remove these tags. So the CSS class we used here is not image all. We will need to change this to team one. And the next thing is we will need two URLs here, like the images links. Okay. So to get the images link, you can open up your media library. I'll open this in a new tab. And this is the first image, so we will copy its URL and we'll paste it here. And same goes for the second one. So let's go back to media library and we will copy this image url and we'll paste it here and that's it now you can scroll down and for the location you can click on it and instead of header you can change this to side white footer okay because we need this code in footer then scroll down and if you want to disable this code on specific device you can do it but this is not necessary and at the end make sure to active this snippet and then save snippet now let's go to elementor and let's preview this page and now you can see the image is changing on hover. Whenever I bring my mouse here, it will change the image. And now if you have multiple images on the same page, then let me show you how you can do that. Let's go back to Elementor and we will just duplicate this column. And now we have three team members, okay? I click this and we'll change the image here. So I'll upload a new image. So you can see I uploaded two more images here. I'll select this one 
and we'll select it and the next thing is we will need to change the class here okay because we are using the team one class on this image so let's call this team two and that's it i'll update this and now let's go to our office dashboard and we will make some changes to this okay so i'll just copy this we'll paste it again and we will just need to change this class and also the urls here so again i can get urls from the media library and we'll paste it here and the second one will go here now let's update this we'll go back to the preview page and now you can see the changes on how okay so now i can make changes to the names and designation later on but this is how you can change image on how i hope the video will help you for you and for more just visit my channel i have lots of videos about wordpress and elementor and still if you have any questions about this video you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next